Hello everyone and welcome back to another Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. I'm at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge to talk about some rumors. How about you and I dive right in? So word on the street is that Galaxy's Edge is receiving its first expansion and that was greenlit ahead of schedule just because of the popularity of Galaxy's Edge and just how much money they're pumping in through this uh, whole entire space. I mean, it's just insane how much money is flowing through Galaxy's Edge. But we all know that the Cantina is probably one of the most popular spots in Galaxy's Edge. And originally in concept, they had talked about a restaurant that would sit uh, right behind the Cantina or to the side of it within Galaxy's Edge. It would be a sit-down reservation restaurant uh, similar to like the Cantina theme where you can also get drinks. On television, ABC had shown off the concept art for this proposed restaurant that would sit, at least from what I've been hearing, in this general area behind uh, those doors. And if you go behind those doors, it's just kind of empty space for uh, overflow for Millennium Falcon. But if they do intend on going forward with that restaurant, I think that would honestly be one of the best moves they can do here because Galaxy's Edge is already crowded as it is, uh, especially on a busy weekend. And as you can see, I mean, there's lightsabers everywhere. People are spending money. It's clearly a success. People are clearly digging it. And uh, obviously, like I said, the cantina is one of the most popular spots in Galaxy's Edge. So why not expand on that idea and uh, make a, a, a sit-down restaurant? I mean, if they decide to put that sit-down reservation restaurant behind the cantina, they can easily put it in the space back here. And honestly, if they really wanted to, um, it would be extra work, but I'm sure they're willing to spend the money to do it. And they can easily connect the cantina and the restaurant. So guests can go in and out of each location and uh, you know maybe they can do all new reservation system for, for these two spaces in the future. I mean, time will tell obviously, uh, and obviously things will change as uh, Galaxy's Edge continues to change. But yeah, what are your thoughts on that? I, I wonder if they're going to uh, implement both of those locations together, if in fact they are gonna be building a sit-down restaurant. Overall, I think Galaxy's Edge has plenty of shopping. As far as uh, merch goes, they have tons of it. Just like here in the marketplace, there are tons of opportunities to buy a bunch of different unique mer uh, merchandise items. And uh, I, I don't think they need any more of these. I just think they need more places to eat. Because right now, the only places to eat in Galaxy's Edge are Ronto's Roasters, which is right here next to the marketplace. And they only serve like a grab-and-go kind of thing. And then Docking Bay 7, which is right around the corner, uh, serves more of your like average kind of meal. But it's a quick service place. It's not like a Blue Bayou experience. It's not uh, you know, a Carnation Cafe experience. Not, not even a Plaza Inn experience. So if Galaxy's Edge creates something like that and they go ahead and green light that project, that would be pretty neat to see something like that here in Galaxy's Edge, which I think desperately needs. And just for reference, this is what the inside of Docking Bay 7 looks like. So you walk up, just like, uh, let's just use Hungry Bear, for example, you walk up to the menus, order your food, grab it, and then come here to sit. Uh, it's not really something that is an experience kind of like Blue Bayou or uh, Carthay Circle in California Adventure. And like Blue Bayou here in Disneyland, um, yeah, I mean, it's a full on experience. And I think that this particular land needs something like that, especially with all of this highly immersive theming. I mean, it's just all over the place. You are not in Disneyland, you are completely on a different planet. And uh, I think with an experience similar to Blue Bayou, but just Star Wars esque, similar to, uh, you know, if you'd mix the cantina with a sit-down restaurant, I think that would just be an absolute hit. And uh, it, honestly, it would probably be really hard to get a reservation for. Here's a closer shot of that extended queue for the Millennium Falcon. Uh, this is just part of it. Those two doors open in the back and they have a full on, uh, I don't know, I would say half a football field's length of queue space back there. It's pretty large and they have uh, space then some so as far as putting a location back there they have plenty of room but just like I said earlier you can see that this is now um, going to be difficult as far as where to put all of the extra people that line up for the Millennium Falcon 
uh, when it's busy. And just by the way, it's not filled up right now because it's later on in the evening uh, near park closing. So a lot of the people that are in the park right now have probably already ridden this attraction. It has a 45 minute wait. So most of that wait time could be held within its normal building. All right, that's gonna do it for tonight's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button because I have brand new videos every single week and you won't want to miss out on all the new content. So what do you guys think? Do you think they'll expand Galaxy's Edge sooner than we originally thought uh, just because of its popularity? Or will we wait another couple years? Uh, let me know down in the comments below. I'd like to spark up some speculation comments and uh, yeah, talk to you guys about the future of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge that might not be uh, so distant future. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Have a beautiful evening and I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.